It was the year 1993. While on vacation, Pankaj Jain, a mechanical engineer from IIT, chanced upon some exotic herbs. Standing amidst the splendor of the Himalayas, a realization dawned on him. Nature had blessed him with its bounty to be shared with the rest of the world. On returning home, Pankaj, along with his two brothers, began catering to the huge market for these herbs, supplying to companies like Dabur, Jhandu, and Maharishi Ayurved. Next followed trading of essential oils, aromatic chemicals, and perfumery compounds. In 1996, they started a small unit for manufacturing perfumery compounds. After that, they began importing materials like essential oils, natural extracts, and aromatic chemicals from overseas. As the business flourished, sandalwood became the main offering. And with that, a new horizon came into sight. Extraction of sandalwood oil and manufacturing natural perfumery compounds and essences. Today, the Floriana Group has three manufacturing units in Sampla, Haryana. With one unit exclusively dedicated to manufacturing sandalwood oil, herbal oils and perfumery compounds based on sandalwood oil. This unit happens to be the largest manufacturer in Asia. The second unit specializes in manufacturing synthetic perfumery compounds and essences. And the third factory produces skincare products under the brand name Lambency. An additional facility was added in Agartala, Tripura, which makes natural perfumery compounds, essences and essential oils. Currently, domestic sales through essential oils and speciality perfumery compounds based on sandalwood oil account for 70% of Floriana's total earnings. The essential oils, herbal oils and speciality perfumery compounds and essences produced by the company are used widely across various industries, especially in speciality industrial perfumes, cosmetics, processed foods, pharmaceuticals, toiletries and allied perfume industries such as incense sticks. The Floriana Group stands proud as India's largest manufacturer of pure sandalwood oil and is among the world's leading producers. It boasts of a clientele that includes some of the best brands in the domestic market. Anticipating a large gap between demand and supply of sandalwood oil, Floriana initiated a sandalwood growing project in Madhya Pradesh. This is in keeping with its vision to be completely self-sufficient and to further strengthen its leadership position in this sector. Since sandalwood is the costliest raw material, the new plantation is expected to enable the group to better manage market dynamics relating to demand, supply and the cost of sandalwood. And that's not all. Leveraging its core strength, the group also ventured into the personal care retail market with the launch of Lambency. The high grade of sandalwood oil and powder used in these cosmetic products gives them an edge over the competition. Lambency manufacturing unit at Sampla Haryana, which is fully sanitized and high-tech, is one of the best in the country. Most of Lambency products are 100% pure and natural, providing value for money to the Indian consumer. The range covers over 15 premium products and is promoted through widespread media campaigns across the country. In line with its commitment to quality and innovation, the group has established its own state-of-the-art R&D facility with a special unit dedicated to cosmetics. On offer is the best of nature to the masses and classes in India and overseas. As a natural extension of its venture into plantations, the group made its foray into the agribusiness. Today, some of the world's biggest processed food brands trust Floriana's wholesome and fine quality agro products. Its activities in this area cover export, import and the domestic sector. Protein meals of soya bean and rapeseed are largely exported to Asian countries like Thailand, Vietnam, China, Japan, Indonesia and Sri Lanka. They are, however, mainly invoiced through trading companies in Singapore. This business is virtually risk-free since all counterparts are well-reputed and large trading companies who even pay in advance to cover shipments for the next season. 
The Floriana Group also exports South Indian long-grained rice to PepsiCo in the USA and other destinations nominated by it, while ground nuts are exported to Indonesia and Singapore-based trading companies. Crude soybean oil is imported from the South American countries, Brazil and Argentina. A part of the imported consignments are sold to buyers on high seas and the rest is processed and then sold to various customers. Presently, soya bean oil is becoming very popular in India. Latest reports show it accounts for 60% of the oil consumed in the country and its consumption is expected to rise further since it's very low on fats and rich in proteins and it costs less. Pulses are imported from Australia and Canada and sold to various processing plants across the country. Palm oil is imported from Malaysia and has a ready market in India. Raw cashew is imported from African countries, processed in India and then exported to the USA and European countries. The group's domestic trading includes wheat and pulses. It has warehouse facilities in Delhi, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan. The wheat is procured and stored at these warehouses and the pulses are bought from western states and sold to the southern states of the country. As a result, Floriana expanded by procuring marble mines in Katni, Madhya Pradesh and set up the world's largest marble mining and processing project for thin and composite marble with an investment of 500 crore rupees. In collaboration with Geo SRL Italy, it has recently acquired an exclusive license to use its patented technology The mines in Madhya Pradesh are spread over 54.45 hectares of land and its state-of-the-art processing unit has an annual production capacity of finished to fit slabs and tiles of 3.6 million square meters. The marble would be pre-polished by high-tech calibrated machines instead of using conventional manual techniques that produce dissatisfactory results. For the first time ever, marble as thin as 3 mm will open up new possibilities for usage in ceilings, elevators, wall partitions and so many other areas, ushering in the future of marble processing and application. What's more, the group plans to reach out directly to consumers through its own outlets, thereby ensuring a revolutionary retail experience at competitive prices. As the only book-matched marble in the country, it would provide uniformity in product specifications across outlets and would allow consumers to simply select the shade and finish of their choice and drive home with it. As you can see, Floriana has always had the passion to do something different, to make a difference in people's lives. With this revolutionary product, it empowers them to be different, to stand out from the crowd. And Floriana cares. With effective HR policies in place, it inspires a highly motivated talent pool of over 2,500 professionals. As a responsible social citizen, it is associated with a number of NGOs in the areas of women empowerment, art and culture, and healthcare. It has organized six free polio camps and several free eye camps. This company strongly believes a literate nation is a progressive nation. It already has a school in Haridwar and in keeping with its commitment to provide quality education in the country, a world-class boarding school in the national capital region is in the pipeline along with many other projects. The future is bright for the Floriana Group. By exploring new horizons, it has ensured constant growth through diversification and consolidation. Its future plans include a 1000 megawatt coal-based thermal power plant in Jharkhand, manufacturing of solar cells and solar modules, luxury hotels at budget prices in major cities that will cater to the growing influx of business travelers. These are a few milestones to be crossed on the way. The journey itself is never-ending.